Nothing like grandma's cooking. No right. kidding. Right. No All kidding. Right. <laughs> Abraham Saloon from Saloon Restaurant in Dallas is here. So this is something your grandmother used to make? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, have a I had a Lebanese grandmother. She mm -hmm. was a daughter of uh, Lebanese immigrants. And the thing I remember the most is the smell of that pantry, uh, the olives, the, oh, the spices, the ghee, uh -huh. and it was fantastic. So. And yet you grew up in Mexico. I grew up in Mexico City, yes. Yeah, a lot so. of Lebanese in Mexico. Yes, a huge population. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What do we call grandma? Abuelita. We called her abuelita. Oh, okay. it's okay. just, yeah, the Mexican. <laughs> that easy. Yeah. That easy. Okay, so share us the secrets. Well, it's, it's a super simple recipe, and it's basically milk, Rice. We should. We use a short grain rice. Okay. Um, and then cinnamon, powdered sugar, cardamom. We let it cook. You're gonna let it cook um, until soft. You might have to add a little more milk that's on so the recipe. So this is a spiced rice pudding. Yes, correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Because of the cardamom. Okay. And because of the cinnamon. Obviously, okay. we put a whole thing of cinnamon here. Oh, you have um, a whole. Show it, them again. Do you have a whole stick of cinnamon? Yeah, a stick of cinnamon. There. So in there, there right so. now is the milk, the rice, the cinnamon, and the sugar. And the sugar. And the sugar. Okay. And you're gonna let it cook. You're gonna let it boil until it cooks. And if you need to add a little more milk than the recipe calls for, go ahead and add some more. Okay. Um, then you're gonna let it cool, and then it becomes really uh, Lebanese when you add a little bit of rose water to it. Rose water. Yeah, Lebanese use. Can I get that anywhere? Yeah, you can get it in a lot of more in a okay. lot of markets now. And okay. then we're gonna top it with some orange peel and uh, pistachios. So that that's what it looks like in the exactly, end there. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And now, is this a breakfast or a dessert? It's a dessert. It's is a it? dessert. Okay. So it's got it has the sweetness to it. Absolutely. Okay. But you're gonna try it for breakfast, so. Pistachios. <laughs> yes, I yeah. am. Yeah. So you're gonna be doing these cooking classes. Let's talk yes. about those at the it's farmers a, market. It's a series of cooking classes they do at the farmers market mm -hmm. every season. Uh, they invite chefs from all over town, and each one picks his own theme. It benefits the friends of the farmers market as well as the AIWF. Great. Um, and uh, it starts at 11:30 on Saturdays, and um, uh, there's. It's, there's a lot of capacity, so please yeah. come see us. Uh, I think you've got the website on your oh, yeah, on we do. screen, right. and uh, who you can contact. Tickets are twenty-five dollars uh, ahead of time and thirty dollars yeah. at the door. And the nice part is, y you can go down, enjoy the cooking class, and then just go out and wander in, in the new and much improved. And go support the farmers. Yeah, exactly. That's great. Yeah. So, is there is there a competition between you guys? Like, what did this person do this last time? I no, want to top it or no? I think we all do what we like to do. What you like to do. We all have different different styles. Different passions. We're all friends, so it's there. You go. It's good. Nice to see. Okay, we'll put all the information and a link on our website, fox4news.com, and we'll be right back.